Hi there, people of the internet. So I want to thank you all so much for having interest on my Pokemon collection. And I know it's been over a week and I didn't say anything about it. But originally, I just wanted to post and see if people were interested on it. Because I originally posted on Reddit and no one said anything. And then I put it on Twitter and Facebook and boom, it exploded. But uh, now that I have time, I'm going to show you a video and also post pictures of all the games and their conditions. So you all know what I have. And you can assess for yourself if it's worth it for you, okay? Alright, so here's like the first look of everything that I have. So I have all these Game Boy games. They're all complete in box. They got the manuals. Red, blue, blue, green, yellow, silver, gold, crystal, emerald, the fire reds. I have a Japanese black, uh, sorry, white also. I have an extra blue. I have an extra red somewhere in there. Oh yeah, right here. And I have all the spin-off or sequel games, you know, Ultra... Sun and Moon, I have Black and White 2, uh, I have the original boxes of the Heart Gold Soul Sober, uh, and then all of these uh, 3DS era Onward games are going to be sealed. I have them sealed, so that's why I have multiple X's, it's because one is open, one is sealed. Then going up to my Switch games, not all of them are what I'm selling, but for an example, uh, yeah, I have Arceus, I have Sword and Shield. Scarlet Violet, I have that all sealed. Additionally, I do have here the Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc for Jirachi. So this is the one you plug into your um, GameCube and you get a Jirachi from it. It's the uh, Wishmaker OT, I believe. Then I also have double packs for Diamond and Pearl, the, uh, the remakes. I have the double pack for Sword and Shield. It comes with the tin, uh, the gold tin, and then it's a small right here actually, and that's a double pack for Sword and Shield normally. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get this opened. Okay, so I started with Gen 1. Uh, I do have two reds, two blues, one yellow. They are slightly different in a sense because one of my reds, it is uh, a condition that is not particularly the best. Yeah, it's this one here. I'm going to show you the inside later. And I have two blues, and the reason why is because they have a different boxing. Uh, the pattern, so you can see one is a Y-fold and the other one is a square fold on the boxing. The font is a little different. Uh, the sizing of the Pokemon is different, so I don't know what issue version that means or, or is determined by that. But yeah, that's what the difference is, and I'm going to show you the inside too. Okay, and they're out of the casing, and for the record, uh, a lot of Game Boy and maybe Game Boy Color and Advanced games have an internal battery on the cartridge. Unfortunately, I have never tested their battery. Most likely, you're going to have to assume that it's dead, so it would not be able to save a game file unless you yourself change that battery, by the way. So, looking up at the games and the conditions, we're going to look at the outside first and then the inside. So, this is my first red it is in a pretty good condition. The box looks, you know, it is a 20 year old box anyway, so it looks pretty good. And this is going to be the white fold blue. Also, the box looking in great condition. No big flaws or anything like that. Going to my yellow, also going to be a white fold. Looks fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty good condition. And now uh, into my OCD got me into buying another one because this one was like this and I wasn't fond of that. Uh, so as a blue, nothing really outstanding in the condition. A little box neck over here, like a peel. Uh, yeah, some wear and tear a little bit here and there. Uh, none of these games uh, from the Game Boys era are my personal, um, I didn't own them as a child. I got them online throughout the years as I was building this collection. And here's my second um, red. I bought it because it was a cheap deal. So I go in hand and got it. So there's some creases right here, some dents. Uh, There's also not going to be a white fold uh, right here. It's going to be a straight like the blue. And yeah, uh, weren't there. This box is a little flimsy, not the greatest, but it is a a red version from 1998 so and here are all the contents of my first red version so game cartridge looks pretty good uh, it's got all the indents right here 
is the uh, white rated E for everyone. It's not black and bold like some games are. Uh, let's see the back. So and it's in a pretty good condition. And then it comes with the uh, cardboard holder for the cartridge so it don't fly out. I don't fully recall, but I do believe I bought a cartridge holder for one of my Game Boy games because it kept flopping out. I'm not sure which, but the vast majority of these are the original cardboard holders, by the way. Uh, you know, safety instructions, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, little advert for Nintendo Power from back in the day. Pretty legit. And this manual is not in the best condition per se there's some little you can see crinkles here and there but it's got everything in it it's the pokedex so it looks pretty good all right so that's gonna be the red version all right and here is my pokemon blue version again you saw the box it's got a blue cartridge and this one uh the holder fits a uh, plastic cartridge holder so i put it in there uh so Pretty good condition. Again, it is the white rated E for everyone. Label looks fine. There's no minor damage to it. Some slight use. And yeah, overall in a pretty good condition uh, for this cartridge. And it came in this. That's how I got it. It's got all these adverts, you know, player's guide and stuff. An advert for Pokemon Stadium way back in the day. Uh, the security, you know, safety thing. Pokedex. This one is a uh, much better condition than my red. Uh, no creases, anything like that. So pretty good condition. And this one has a slightly wider cardboard holder, so that's why I have it in the case, so it don't flip around. So overall, looks good. And now we're back with the yellow version uh, box. Damn it. Yep, so the box looks pretty good. It comes with a Pokedex, a little bit of creases here and there, nothing too major. It's still in uh, pretty good condition, what it is, a little fold right there. And it's got all the Pokedex as the other ones. Safety notes, player's guide advert, not filled in. And this one does come with, uh, it came in wrapped uh, with some plastic in it. So, I don't usually mess with these things. So, I just keep it on my shelf. So, let me see. Yep. Uh, label looks in pretty good condition. It is the uh, white rated E for everyone. Casing looks really, really good. No, my, no major damages or anything like that. Prongs look good. Yeah. Let's go on to the other games. And now we got the uh, two extra ones that I have. And like I said before, these are a different fold. And that's because they don't have the uh, the cardboard holder. They have like a flap here instead. So again, this is a damage box. It's not the greatest condition. Dent, there, weren't there. Uh, it's come with a... This label is not the greatest. It is a bolt rated E for everyone. So... It is still a still a game. You know? This one does not come with a manual. I did not get it. Uh, when I got it, it's got a safety instructions. Players got advert. Then likewise, also n not the same white fold, but this one's had a pl it's got a flap for holding the case. See, and that's where the cartridge goes in. Uh, for that, this one is going to be a white rated E for everyone. Some slight wear and tear on, like fading on the outside of the label. And the cartridge looks to be fine. This one does come with a manual. It's got all this stuff and the safety the safety uh, instructions. All right, and here are gonna be my gold, crystal, and silver versions. And some still got like part of the wrapping in them. They're not sealed. Just so you know, they're not sealed. They got some old wrapping left over because they carefully opened it and they got the game out and they played it. So boxes look to be in really good condition. So let's see how they're inside. First up from Gen 2, we have 
Pokemon Gold. And as you can tell, this is still kind of wrapped from its original wrapping. The prior owner only cut from the top and pulled the game out. So this seems to be like the original wrapping based on how tight it is around the box. Uh, it is a white fold bottom. Uh, it's got the seal of approval from Nintendo here. It is a legitimate box uh, from what I'm seeing. There is some wear and tear from opening. You see a little crease right there. Some uh, fading. But overall, the box is in really good condition. And it comes with the cartridge. Cartridge also in really good condition. It is now uh, transitioned into a bold black uh, rated E for everyone symbol. There is in Japan. The prongs all look good to be in good condition. And this one unfortunately only came with this trainer's guy, so that's the manual, the Pokedex, I think. Yeah, link cables, all that shebang. Yeah, so that's the original manual. And it does come in a pretty decent condition. Not many uh, faults to this. Spine looks fine. Uh, and it came with this cardboard holder. So, yeah, that's gold. Now, in a similar fashion to my gold version, this one was also uh, cut from the top. It still got the original packaging in it, the wrapping, I mean. Uh, box is in a really good condition. Uh, it's not been played around too much. Uh, obviously, because there's only one way out to get the carts, there's always going to be that little bend from the flap over there. But the box is in general pretty good condition. Uh, this one does come with more things. It's got the safety instructions. It's going to have uh, Pikachu 64 uh, advert, trainer's guide advert, the silver version guide. So, same thing, pretty good condition. Uh, and the cartridge also looks fine. It is a. Uh, this one's got some more wear to it, I suppose, because it's holographic. Uh, the black rated E for everyone. And looks fine. The teeth look fine. And it does come with a cardboard cartridge holder for the box. And for the last game of Gen 2, uh, we have Crystal. And Crystal, uh, I believe, I forgot what the function was. It had like a vibration function or something. That's why it's got this uh, different cartridge design. It is a black rated E for everyone. Uh, yeah, it had the whole crystal look to the cartridge. Label looks good. This one, uh, I do like this box. It's got a pretty good condition on things. Nice and shiny. All straight. Neat. Pretty uniform all around. Obviously, the wear and tear from opening and unopening this thing right here. It does come with the cardboard holder. Nintendo Power advert. The crystal guide, uh, pretty good condition, and safety guidelines. So let's go on to Gen 3. And here is the entirety of Gen 3. Ruby, Sapphire, the third version Emerald, and the spin-offs, remakes, Leaf Green, and Fire Red. So let's see how they're inside. This generation has a few more games, so I'm going to do these together. So my Ruby... Um, I would say Gen 3 is probably not my best condition boxes. Um, these were really hard to find online and to find something that had like a decent box and manuals and such. So there's, you know, it is a pretty rigid, straight box. There's some nicks, creases, wear and tear. It's not terrible. It is not like the, old, the other red version that I have, but it is kind of noticeable. It is not awful by any means necessary. Uh, and this one came a little bare bones. It had the safety instructions, the manual for Ruby, and it looks decent. I don't, I can't catch any uh, imperfections via that, but it looks pretty good. Oh, here, here we go. Some faults here and there, but overall nothing crazy. And then now we're in Game Boy Advance cartridges, so they're smaller. So this one, you can see, I'm going to zoom it in for you. Oh, there we go. There is a little fading in the M and the O. Uh, it looks mostly okay. It is, it's got some imprints from whatever it is. 
deep look okay you can see the whole back side it is uh, that see-through look of these generation games I can't show it any better unfortunately because this phone is killing me out of focus there we go but yeah no that's that and it came with the cardboard holder moving on to sapphire it's got a lot more things on sapphire you get the cartridge this one again it's got some imprints here and there it's not the best one but it does i believe this is uh that is how it looks right here it's not uh imperfection i believe i'll look at it another time probably but yeah no uh it looks pretty fine uh It's got the cardboard holder. It came with the manual, full on manual. This box uh, is about the same as Ruby, probably. Um, here and there, not that different. Uh, white fold, some fading on the bottom, uh, wear and tear or usage from opening the game. But overall, a pretty good condition box for something that's over 20 years old. Uh, this game were a lot more stuff, a battle cart, so you can use your e-reader to uh, battle someone. I believe this is an e-reader or battle cart, uh, instructions, uh, code for a discount, yeah, $10 off on the e-reader stuff. Uh, there is Nintendo Power advert, I believe. Yeah, it's just a subscription. Uh, it does come with a Pokemon Forever poster. So that's nice. And then I an ad bird for the Game Boy SP. So yeah, that's uh, Ruby and Sapphire. So for some reason, the third versions have a higher price tag than uh, the other one. So Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, they all cost more for some reason. But yeah, this Emerald looks pretty good in box. Uh, some, you know, some usage is a little dent rather. Uh, the folks look fine, some fading, wear and tear box looking pretty good uh, of course always the uh, usual tragic thing that happens when you open your game the flap gets a little damaged every now and then it's a natural thing uh, cartridge looks fine this was the biggest most annoying thing to find and verify for a legitimate copy I don't recall all the exact uh, reasonings and ways to verify that it's legitimate but I spent weeks and weeks and weeks trying to figure out what's right and what isn't. And uh, I forget what it was, but a lot of the tells this game gets uh, bootlegged a lot. So it was a real struggle to find a legitimate copy. Uh, but a lot of the tells were like the font on the label, the rated E looked different, uh, the indents, all these other things. But this one is a legitimate copy because of the, like, the gradient in the back, the font. Uh, well, yeah, no, it took me a while to find this game, to be honest with you. That's the backing. But yeah, no, this game looks beautiful. Um, after that, it comes with the usual cardboard holder, power up, advert, the manual, which also looks pretty good. Safety advert, Game Boy Player advert, and this came with this poster. Of all the games, Rayquaza, Coward, or Groudon, all that stuff here. Yep. So now we're going to the remakes. Alright, remakes. This one has a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, as you can tell. So starting out with the box, uh, once again, it looks pretty good condition. You know, some slight wear and tear. It is not perfect. Uh, looks pretty good other than the flap, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so that's how this one is. It comes with a lot, Nintendo Power, Advert, Safety, Instructions, and whichever, which I believe is one is for the game, one for the adapter. It's got a poster, I think. It's an advert for, yeah, the remix. Manual, in good condition, pretty pristine. SP advert, and then something that a lot of people always ask when completing a box. This does come with a wireless adapter, which is a rare thing to have uh, in a lot of these use games because a lot of people are just trading the cartridge and that's it, or they completely forget about this accessory. I am too OCD, and when I buy things, I buy the whole package and I don't uh, leave it. So, the adapter and the cartridge, it is a legitimate copy because it's got all the colorings, the, the shine, all that stuff. Uh, then moving on to 
leaf green, same deal, safety, safety, the game manual right here, pretty good condition. Adverts, adverts, uh, Nintendo Power. Try not to mix up these things together, although they're identical, I think. This box, uh, same dealio. I think this looks pretty good. Um, not many imperfections or damage to it other than the flap itself because that's casualties. And again, this one came with the wrapper, uh, comes with adapter. And again, uh, all the usual signs of a legitimate Nintendo copy because it's uh, the foiling on the label and how transparent the cartridge is and all that stuff. It, it's, it all checks out. And now we come to Gen 4 and the uh, remakes. So uh, as you can tell, there's two boxes of Soul Silver and Gold and that's because it came with a bigger packaging than normal because it does come with a, a Pokewalker. All right, so with Gen 4, I have two diamonds and I'll explain why. So starting off with the cartridges, there is a lot of change with international versions and all that stuff as the generations go on. But there's a US copy, uh, see the background on the label, looks pretty fine. These are the serial codes, the, the prongs on the uh, cartridge. This one only came with the manual. Manual looks mostly fine, um, decent condition. The box, I'm a big stickler for boxes and the cover art. And that's the reason why I have that one too. Uh, so this one, it is also an American copy. Comes with everything. No visual damage. This is an original Nintendo casing. It's got the Game Boy Advance holder. And the reason why I have this one is because, well, not necessarily that scuff, but uh, there is some water damage. You can't see it very well, but there's water damage on the cover art. Uh, and when I uh, inquired to the seller, he sent me pictures and they did not have the water damage on the label. And then I had this whole ordeal and I guess he never accepted back the package when I returned it, so it got sent back to me. So that's why I have to. It still looks pretty fine. Uh, if you take this out, you will see that it looks a little different on the inside, but it's, it's a game. This one does come with more things. Instruction manual. All the security stuff. Now we're going into the Wi-Fi with the DS, so that's that. The E-Club advert and Ranger advert. Now for... Oh yeah, sorry. This one's same setup as the other one. It's got all the serials, all the numbers. For Pearl, likewise, there's a little imprint here. Uh, also an American copy. All the prongs. It does come with a manual. It's a little warping on this manual. It happens, so this person actually did try and use the game, which is absolutely fine. Uh, yep, safe. Then the box for Pearl, looking good. Not many flaws, anything like that. The plastic looks fine, there's no scratches, no indentations. Also a authentic Nintendo case with the Game Boy Advance holder. But yeah, on to the next one. And for Platinum, this also was one of the harder games to find a legitimate copy or also find one that was American because a lot of them I saw online back in the time I looked for these were like European or I think they had a player's choice label at the time too. Uh, so yeah, this is an American copy. Uh, box in pretty good condition and authentic case. It comes with all the safety instructions, Nintendo Club, the Wi-Fi instructions, the manual. The manual is not fully pristine, it's custom warping. It was used, which is fine. Uh, but yeah. And then for the cartridge, again, very difficult to find this cartridge and be okay with it. Uh, so there is some slight 
fading at the top here and it's got the seal of approval the bold e red e usa version it's gonna have the uh the prongs in the correct order the numbers all that stuff but yeah platinum all right so this one is a lot more going on as you can tell uh, so first and foremost, we got the their old DS game. So they got the plastic DS case, and here's the cartridge for gold, hard gold, soul silver. Probably one of the better condition ones that I have. Nothing really wrong with it. Good old prongs, the watermarks. This uh, manual is in pretty good condition. Again, another USA copy. This again, uh, excellent condition. It says not for resale because it is not meant to be sold like this. It's meant to be sold in that big cardboard box, which I'm gonna go over. And again, another traditional DS box. And now I'm gonna hop into Soul Sober to show you the other cartridge. So that's again another English copy. Old the cereals all that good stuff and these came with man oh yeah sorry the box again really good condition because they have a bigger box they're meant to be put inside of the authentic case by the way and so what happens is these came with these manuals inside but then it was a generation or a remake that had the pokey walkers so here's a fully assembled Pokey Walker. I cannot guarantee that a battery will work or it's uh, the battery is um, needs to be replaced. I'm not gonna turn it on. But yeah, that's Pokey Walker is the one you, it's like a, a pedometer. You have to walk with it and you level up your Pokemon and do stuff with it. So the reason why there's two slots here is because uh, originally they come split the back side on the front side and then you put the battery and then you, you play it out. That's why this one is open like that. So I'll put that here. Uh, it does come with the instructions. How to use, how to take care of it. And that. So this is uh, probably not my uh, best condition box. So this is a bigger box that will contain the uh, Soul Silver. And the front looks great. Most of the sides look fine too, but there's this rip right here on, well, I guess when they open it, they open it too hard. Uh, it happens, but overall it looks great, besides that of course, and it's got all the packaging, and it includes the Poke Walker, which is incredibly, incredibly hard to find nowadays, uh, and it's got all this other instructional material, uh, gold will have also the instructional material, it didn't come with as much as the one from Soul Silver. I don't know why. Uh, again, I, I bought these used, so this one has a Poke Walker intact. Uh, let me see. It's got everything still on the bow wrap. It was never opened, so that's the backing. Let's see if I can show this. Yeah, so that's how it's gonna look like. So there's a brand new never used before pokey walker in pristine condition so that's gonna be a bonus hold on and back to the box the upper box for hard gold really good condition this one does not have a rip like the other one uh but it looks great again usual wear and tear from that can't do much about that but yeah overall you know i have both of these they got the pokey walker that's great really playable game really good game one of the best in the series so that is going to be gen 4 and then we're on gen 5 so gen 5 is going to have white and black white 2 and black 2 and also i have a japanese version my friend uh sent to me years ago when it first came out in japan so let's see how they're inside all right so gen 5 black and white and white though so uh this game's look great uh they have every tell that it's a legitimate cartridge because for some weird reason uh the ds era is where cartridges became easier to 
bootleg and make him look realistic. Hold on, pause, I'm on his knees. Okay, uh, yeah, so white looks good. It's got all the markings, the prongs, looks fine. It came with our manuals, really good condition. All these instructions. The box looks fine also, and I believe this when Nintendo started to either cut down on cost or reduce waste, you know, whatever you want to interpret that as. Then for black, same deal. There is a bit of an indent, I believe, by, yeah, I see that. By the end happens, Some something got pressed on it, and that's how it got marked. Again, same dealio, manuals, safety, the box, looking fine as always. And then again, uh, the recyclable, less waste version boxes now. Now for my Japanese version, everything looks fine, JPN. Uh, the DS was region free, so I was able to play this game. My friend sent me this game sealed from Japan. And I played it on my own DS for a long time and I enjoyed it. Uh, helped me learn some Japanese also. So that's that. The box, is it recyclable? No, Japan itself does not care about recycling, huh? So that's that. It looks fantastic. Great condition. I barely opened this because I kept this on the entire time. It's got all the safety, all the Wii adverts, all that stuff. And it came with a overbox sleeve for the game, which looks phenomenal. Well, yeah, let's go on to Black and White 2. And the last bit of Gen 5, Black and White 2, the sequels, they're direct sequels to the events of Black and White, I think, if I recall. Uh, so the cartridges, once again. Uh, I don't know what happened to these, uh, to this gen or like series remix, but I think they're very underproduced because they're hard to find and they're like in the low hundreds for some reason. Uh, so it looks pretty pristine. This one only did come with the manual, which is in good condition. And a Genesec promotion case. Once again, looks fantastic. It does come with the uh, lighter recyclable box. And likewise for white too. Same dealio. Looks fine. All these security, safety, adverts, Club Nintendo, manual looks fine too, really good condition. We're getting to a newer kind of game, so that's why they're looking much better than the other ones. Again, box looks fantastic. The recyclable case. Yeah, so that is Gen 5. And onwards, we're going to move on to Gen 6, which will be all sealed copies because I have them sealed and open. So we'll see, I'll show you right now. All right, so this video is going to get a lot more simpler now because... Onwards, all these games are my personal collection that I bought and opened or are completely sealed. So from the top, all these are sealed games of the 3DS era. It's got the wrapper, got them off the retail store. These are all fully sealed, brand new games, never been played, never been touched, just straight to the casing because I wanted to collect them like that because I have OCD. So yeah, this is a blend of two gens. So, I forget, Gen 6, X and Y, sealed, sealed, and then Alpha Ruby, sorry, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, again, sealed games, these are remakes of Gen 3, Ruby and Sapphire, that's all Gen 6, Gen 7 is the Alola region, again, like I showed you earlier, sealed, that's the sequel, Sun and Moon, also sealed. So, and here's my other ones, which the ones that I played, uh, X, Ruby, Sapphire, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. These are opened, so obviously they will be valued a lot uh, lower than the sealed copies over here. Slight detour, as a bonus, I do have the uh, original Pokemon Coliseum pre-order disc, which comes with a Jirachi Wishmaker code. So it's a GameCube disc you put on your adapter to your Game Boy Advance and it will give you a level 5 Jirachi. So it's a really great way to start your Game Boy Advance adventures. And with this concludes the uh, my collection. I'm going to go over everything that I have left over here in display. I have a sealed and a open copy of Arceus. 
open copy of Snap, and then an open copy, a uh, uh, copy double pack of the Sword and Shield. It does come with this gold metal tin here. Looks really good. Uh, fully metal, and then to open this right here, it does have a map of the world, which is pretty nice. Nice firm quality. Unfortunately, I don't think they decided to sell these uh, for the English version, American version of the games for Scarlet and Violet. Then I have yet another double pack of Sword and Shield. This one is sealed, never been opened. And my personal open copies of Sword and Shield. I have a opened and a sealed BDSP. Uh, this one's the sealed one from what I'm feeling. And my open copy of BDSP right here. I think I opened it from the bottom, maybe that's why. But one is sealed, one is open, of course. Likewise, my open copy of Scarlet and Violet and my sealed copy of Scarlet and Violet right here. Yeah, so I have a lot of Pokemon games. Um, I don't know why I suddenly got the itch to want to go ahead and sell my collection, but it's a lot. It is all the main series games. Uh, I don't know if you count Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu as one of those. Unfortunately, I don't have those, but I have every single other thing and every single little add-on that the games come with, aka the Pokewalker, the wireless adapter. So it's got a lot of good stuff that you normally wouldn't find at a GameStop or pawn shop because people just turn in the cartridge. No case, no manual. So all my games don't have all the safety manuals, instructions, adverts. Some do. I personally cannot guarantee that the batteries are new, have been replaced, or whether or not they're due for one uh, battery replacement on the old cartridge games because that does affect your saving feature, I believe, on the Game Boy through Game Boy Color games. Maybe the advanced ones too, I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, the DS games onward, they're all, you know, their own little thing. They all work fine. But I uh, primarily want to sell to somebody that wants to take the whole entire thing uh, is willing to accept the condition of these games as is. Unfortunately, you know, I cannot mend any damage over time from these boxes. That's the way I've had them for many years. I have done my best to keep them in the best condition after I received them. Uh, I am also willing to meet up with someone. I live in Florida. I am willing to meet with someone on state, state line, willing to travel, you know, maybe to Georgia or something. I mean, someone halfway. Uh, or within Florida, of course. Maybe I don't really want to say that I want to ship this out because it's a lot. There, There is a lot of uh, safety concerns with shipping something this big uh, to wherever it needs to go. But always that is a very negotiable thing. So it's all a matter of uh, talking it out, talking about a price, um, a halfway point we're willing to accept on how we want to do things meet up, ship it out, whatever it is. But anyways, thank you so much thank you so much guys for watching this video. I appreciate all of you. I hope you enjoyed maybe going through memory lane and seeing all these games in a really good condition. So uh, I'll be looking forward to some messages on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. I'm also gonna be posting the pictures that I took as I uh, unbox these games on my Twitter and Facebook so you can see it there too. If you have any questions about the condition of the games, wanna see closer up pictures or videos please let me know in those comments or message me i will find them for you i will show you how it looks like because i do not intend to deceive or scam anyone out of the condition of these games these games are the best that i could have kept them on so if there's any faults or damages that's the that's you know it's a the really old game so it's hard to keep them together I'll, I'll tell you that right now so please you know Go ahead, watch the video, skip to all the parts, but be mindful that I am only trying to sell the whole condition. I will not be splitting oh, only the Game Boy games, only the DS games. I am getting rid of the whole entire thing. So please, if you're making offers, I want to get an offer for the whole entire collection, not for individual games. So thank you guys, and I look forward to your messages.